Hi, my name is Eric Wolf. I'm a certified HACCP auditor and a senior member of ASQ. And I want to explain to you one of the ways in which I use quality tools around the clock. Now, my wife and I found out not too long ago that we're expecting our first child. So naturally, we needed to make sure we understood all the ways and risks in which our house posed risks to children. Uh, my wife being a healthcare professional and I being a food safety professional, naturally we chose failure modes and effects analysis as our tool. So, we, uh, failure modes, as defined by ASQ, uh, means the ways in which a system can fail. Effects analysis is a way to understand all the consequences of those failures. Uh, in a failure modes and effects analysis, one of the other key parts is the understanding of severity, occurrence, and detection. Uh, from those, you uh, can create a risk priority number. Uh, that helps us prioritize all the different uh, risks um, in our whole system. So my wife and I used a lot of different external resources to help us understand those different factors into the risk priority number. We used um, government resources, peer-reviewed sources, uh, National Highway Safety, Transportation Safety Administration data uh, to really get us some good concrete numbers. Uh, also in our effects analysis, we took uh, one step further and added a RACI matrix to it. Uh, that helped us be able to uh, set some timetables for completing our tasks before the newborn uh, actually got here. So here's an example of, uh, of our failure modes and effects analysis. We did it on a simple spreadsheet. Uh, for example, here we had uh, the sa car safety seat as one of the items that we assessed in our, in our analysis. Uh, we looked at the potential failure modes, such as unsafe or improperly installed car seat. Uh, the potential effects, meaning the baby was going to be suffering an injury in an accident. We, uh, again, added our severity, occurrence, and detection to give our risk priority number. Looked at recommended actions, such as buying top-rated car seats, viewing all instructions, buying an adapter, and making sure that the preventative maintenance on our car was up to date. So, again, our racing matrix is on the, on the, on the far right side. And uh, this really helped us get prepared uh, for the newborn, which will be here in a couple weeks. Now, what we're going to have to do is make sure as she grows, uh, reassess our failure modes and effects analysis for all the different changes to risks that occur in those years. So thank you so, so much for watching the video. Uh, please leave any comments below if you have any. Thanks so much. Have a great day.